Welcome viewers, this is Windshare. Glad you could join me. In this Battlefield 4 gameplay, I'm, I'm going to be showing some highlights of just the everyday moments that we see, particularly on maps like this, Operation uh, Metro. Again, I'm not sure why they brought this map back, but they have. And uh, we see things like the Grenade Spam or Operation Spam Fest, whatever you want to call it. But what I'm trying to surmise in, in this video is is uh, my everyday observations with Battlefield 4. Lately I've been playing a lot of test servers which have uh, thankfully uh, mitigated much of the uh, typical technical problems I've been referencing, particularly on console. Rubber banding, lag, netcode, what have you. Significantly improved on those servers which allows you to focus on the, uh, the core gameplay of the game which is really what I'm getting at here in today's video. Uh, Battlefield 4 lately for me is becoming a little bit of a chore to play uh, I don't know if it, maybe I'm just playing it too much or, or what what it is, but it's only six months into this game, and and if you're like me, or obviously Arkers are here, I enjoy watching YouTube content. And what I've noticed, observed, is just a significant decline in the Battlefield 4 content released on a lot of the big channels out there. Uh, the quantity, the quality, what have you. It, bottom line is, it, it seems to me like the future of Battlefield 4 uh, gameplay on YouTube or Battlefield 4 support in general is in question. And this is coming from me who has always been a big Battlefield 4 proponent. I still like Battlefield more than Battlefield 3. However, there's something about Battlefield 4. It's my own personal performance has been declining significantly lately. And check this out again. C4 in the elevator. I know you mad, bro. That's right. You know, these kind of players coming into the game. The trolling moments every day. Uh, I'm finding myself struggling struggling to play this game and and really significantly having concerns about the longevity of my channel supporting battlefield 4 i mean if you guys have been following my channel for any amount of time uh you've known that battlefield 3 was where i started was where i gained a lot of momentum i mean i've i gained almost 9,000 subscribers just off of battlefield 3 alone and since battlefield 4 is released with that huge momentum carrying me into battlefield 4's release I've only acquired about 1,500 subscribers since Battlefield 3, and I'm not here to, you know, uh, that, that's not, you know, that really doesn't bother me because I do this just for fun. But I ask myself, you know, why? It, and I, it, I'm trying to look at my you know, introspective uh, uh, situation here. Let, check this out this moment, by the way. Constant suppression on this recon guy. I'm getting hit markers on the guy. Not to bash this player. He's doing a good job, but yet he still returns fire. I can show you hundreds of clips like this. Again, frustrating moments very frustrating uh, but you know I look at my channel and I think you know what have I done I, I feel like I haven't changed anything I feel like the quality of my product has has stayed the same or if not improved still put out montages still put out survivability series tips tricks or strategy overall weapon reviews but I ask myself how much more of that can I do you know I'm looking to the sky for a solution uh, because Battlefield 4 right now is it's a chore it's a labor and i ask myself what can i do uh oh prepare for titanfall <laughs> now guys hear me out for a minute uh before you light me up before you spam that dislike button here it comes i will be the first to state that i am the biggest hypocrite out there uh right now Again, this. let me explain why you're seeing this gameplay. Because this was a impulse buy last night after a rage-induced uh, session of Battlefield 4 gameplay. I was playing with some of my friends, had a couple drinks, and um, they joined up on me. And it was a bad bad night for Windshear because it was Windshear Uncensored. And I was just livid with Battlefield 4. Uh, with the carbification, everybody going try hard, the trolling. <laughs> uh, just... Playing on just everyday game modes like Capture the Flag on Gulf of Oman, you know, the, the sandstorm rolling in, just, oh, you know, it, stuff like that was driving me nuts. Uh, one shot kills, what have you. And not so much, again, the technical stuff, more about just the fundamentals of Battlefield 4. I was just like, you know what? I was so frustrated and raging and just, oh, I mean, I'm like, why do I do this to self? I just want to have fun. Can I have fun gaming again? That That's what I want. So, uh, you know, I've been watching Titanfall on YouTube. I've been seeing some, you know, like level cap and such, putting out content still. And, you know, I've always been kind of like, 
did I was I premature in my assessment of the beta gameplay? I'm like, this game just looks. I mean, it looks fun to me. Still, I, I was kind of curious about it again, and I was looking up online. This is the number one selling game right now. In in March, it 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 was the number one selling game in March. The number two selling game was Infamous Second Son. But it, I asked myself, I looked at the list, I'm like, where's Battlefield? It's not even in the top ten. Call of Duty is still destroying Battlefield in sales. I'm just like, oh my god, Call of Duty still is like the number three, number four game uh, top sales. Battlefield's not even on there. I'm, I'm really deeply concerned about this. Uh, because again, I like Battlefield 4. I, again, I like it more in Battlefield 3, but my personal performance is just going downhill so quickly lately. I mean, I, my KD in Battlefield, for example, was 2.6 to several months ago. Now it's like barely pushing 2.5, like 2.4, something like that. That's how much I've been just sucking <laughs> at Battlefield 4. Uh, and again, it's not like I'm a bad player, guys. I mean, I'm struggling. So I think really what it is is I'm allowing my motion to get the better of me at Battlefield 4. I just get so riled up. And uh, I get myself in a fluster, and uh, you know, I focus on this or that, and, and I, I miss the picture. So, you know, it was like Titanfall. You know, let, let's just go back. It was on sale. It's $50, guys. $50 in Origin right now. This is PC gameplay you're seeing because I don't have an Xbox One. Um, so, I mean, let's be honest with yourself. This game is worth $50. Um, and I have to say that I was just flat out wrong in my beta analysis. Uh, you know, my biggest criticisms of this game were the bots, uh, which. Yeah, that, that's a, a big criticism, but with this game, I kind of think you need to have it because you can't have 24 players running around Titans uh, on these. Even, even though these maps are pretty big, they're just too, Titans are too big. The mechs are too big. You, I mean, just with the couple guys in front, you can see me in these alleyways. It gets kind of crowded, so it just wouldn't work. But the bots also, you can use them to your advantage in the gameplay when you're playing with uh, targeting the bots. You're making yourself known. Sooner or later, uh, an actual human pilot will pick up on that and take advantage of that so you just can't go around out there slaughtering bots they can nobody's gonna notice that and, and it's fun to be able to get some kills you know in between those uh, pilot kills and try to differentiate the pilot from the bots and it's not as bad as I thought initially uh, with that being my bi biggest criticism of the game now the one thing I, I really do think is worth noting in this game is the map design the maps are big these are not like Call of Duty maps that I'm accustomed to um, Call of Duty was kind of a, another big reference that they have with this game is that it's just Call of Duty with a little spin with mechs. It's not really. These maps are nothing like Call of Duty. Call of Duty I've, I've experienced before with Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3. It's like you have three alleyways the size of a soldier's body and everybody just camps at the end of them. And that's basically Call of Duty and then you have some kill streaks. Not these maps. These maps are much more... Uh, they're beautiful maps. I think they're, they're very well designed, they're very well made. And they're big, they're fun, and they play out well. There's there's lots of lots of detail in these maps. The, if there's one good thing, the best thing I can say about this game is just the map design. And lots of them. I haven't played all the maps yet, and I'm having quite a bit of fun playing this today. And this is my first match of getting MVP, which for me, you know, playing with an Xbox controller is is a surprise that I can kind of basically hold my own with guys playing with with the superior interface, a keyboard and mouse. But the uh, the developers were kind enough to just have turnkey operation with uh, with the console controller support. So you know, for a few guys like me that enjoy that level of interface over a keyboard and mouse, we, there was no concern at all. It was just like it just felt so natural. Even without aim assist, uh, I, I still feel like I can I can go toe to toe with a lot of these guys that have a superior uh, aiming ability than I do. Um, so in summary, what I'm trying to say here is I'm not going to just be leaving Battlefield 4. I'm not going to be uploading Titanfall gameplay all the time uh, because I've seen the success of Titanfall's gameplay. It, it's lackluster. Personally, I don't think it's that enjoyable to watch a lot of times, but I still think it's worth noting and, and it, I think there is some, some more longevity in the future for this game. I mean, they just announced competitive gameplay for this. That will increase the longevity of this 2-3-fold. I mean, that's much more we can say about Battlefield 4. I don't think there's any competitive tournaments or competitive gaming for Battlefield 4 that I can see other than just your, your clan matches that you basically orchestrate on your own. But in terms of like tournament gameplay and stuff like that, I just don't see it. But Titanfall there is. Uh, I mean, that's kind of the eSports gaming stuff. Titanfall's got a lot of potential here. I, there's a lot more under it than I realized at first in terms of mech loadouts and strategies, putting force fields down, working with your team. 
uh, loading out your character. I mean, th there's not a ton of weapons, but the weapons that they do have in here are good, and there's a lot to them. So uh, less is more in some respects with that stuff. Uh, and of course, they're still releasing DLCs for this as well. They're patching the game as well. Uh, I haven't really experienced the game prior to the patch, but balancing stuff like that seems pretty solid. Um, I, there's just no co core broken elements here. Bottom line is, do you game for fun? Because that's what I do. And in terms of my YouTube channel, I don't know what I will do Titanfall. I don't know where the future of it's going. But like I say, I have been struggling lately with just generating new viewership. I feel like I put a lot of time in Battlefield 4 with very little fruits from it. Not that I expect anything, but I do put a lot of work in that channel. And if Battlefield 4 is not really the mainstream content out there, I mean, what's next? So... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, I apologize for my rough review of the beta of Titanfall. I think it's worth purchasing for sure. Let me know but what, what you think about YouTube content out there. Where are the future of Battlefield 4 lies? You know, what's the next big thing? I don't know Destiny's kind of things people are rumbling about out there. But bottom line is Titanfall, it's a fun game. It's polished. It feels so natural and fluid the moment you get into it. And any of you out there have a PC... I think you owe it to yourself to at least try this game. Uh, like I say, it's 50 bucks right now in Origin. Well worth that money. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. I will have more content from Battlefield 4 and Titanfall and other games to come in the future.